Hello my loves, oh my goodness it has been such a long time since I last vlogged, life has just been so so busy, obviously I'm a new mum and as Goldie gets older I actually find she's probably getting even more demanding, um, when they were newborn like they sleep so much but as she's older she needs more entertaining and things like that so yeah I just really really struggled to find the time to pick up the camera to be honest. But I'm really excited because I have a vlog for you guys today and I'm actually doing a bit of a mix of things here. So I'm heading into Manchester for an event. This is my first event since having Goldie um, and it's with Jo Malone which is really really exciting and my mum has actually come up to look after Goldie. You can probably hear her downstairs. <laughs> I think she's just waking up, oh bless her. So yeah, my mum has come up to look after Goldie so I can go to this event which is really really good of her um, and yeah, so I'm doing that and then I'm also going to have a little wander around town because the event is in town um, and I haven't done that in such a long time so I bring you guys along for that. It's also Black Friday week which means it's quite a busy week work wise um, so I've got quite a few like jobs and bits and bobs to film um, and I also have some really exciting discounts to talk to you about which is very very fun. So I'm just going to crack straight on with it because I know there are some people that are just here probably to see the good Black Friday discounts and stuff like that. One of the best Black Friday discounts I've seen is the Abercrombie one and you guys know how much I love Abercrombie. I've been like harping on about them for years now. Their stuff is just such great quality. The fit is always so so good. It's very on trend but it's still like quite classic pieces. I'm just obsessed. You guys will know this. How long have I been going on about the jeans to you? Honestly, obsessed. And especially at the minute, like I'm very much trying to find my new kind of style that kind of works with my new kind of life and also um, styles and fits that work well with my new body shape, which is something that I've really, really struggled with. And I've definitely not um, like kept that secret or anything. I talk about it quite a lot over on Instagram. But yeah, when you have a baby, your body shape just changes for me quite dramatically and I don't fit into like barely any of my clothes particularly on the bottom half anymore so it's all been about like trying to find new clothes that work with my shape that I feel good in um but also like are quite classic pieces and yeah it's been it's been a bit of a minefield I'm not gonna lie <laughs> um I'm sure if you've had a baby you will relate but Abercrombie is the one place that I found myself going back to time and time again mostly because their fits are so good, they have such a wide range of fits um, and I just always love their jeans, they're really comfy which is really important for me especially having a baby like it can be easy just to live in leggings all the time, sorry I'm going off on an absolute tangent here but it can be easy just to live in leggings all the time but sometimes wearing leggings, funnily enough I'm actually wearing them today but it, sometimes it's actually quite nice to like get dressed properly and don't get me wrong I love my days that I live in leggings and it is a lot of the time but sometimes it is really nice to get yourself dressed properly and you often feel better in yourself when you're wearing like a nice outfit and stuff like that but when you've got a baby and you're up and down stairs you're on the floor you're off the floor you're picking her up this that and the other you also need to be comfortable which is such like so so important and I find Abercrombie jeans so unbelievably comfortable so for me it's a bit of a win anyway Let's go on to their Black Friday deal. Okay, so I'm gonna read it out just to make sure I get it right. So currently Abercrombie have 25% off everything in their Cyber Week sale, and then you can get an extra 15% off with the code AFRuby. So I've got that on screen. I love when discounts are stackable. It's quite rare that brands will do stackable discounts. Normally it's only like one promo code valid or whatever, but no, this one's stackable. So you end up getting a really, really good amount off. So that's everything in their Cyber Week sale. So I will leave the link below and I'm also gonna show you the bits and bobs that I picked up. So you are gonna have to bear with me here because as I said, I am still kind of discovering my size and stuff like that. So I'm hoping everything fits me, but I might not be able to try everything on just in case it doesn't. But um, yeah, fingers crossed. But first up, I got this gorgeous bodysuit. I think we do such a wide range of bodysuits and I just loved this. So it's a grey knit bodysuit. It's quite like a, not, I wouldn't say it's like a chunky knit, but it's like substantial enough that it would be probably fine just underneath like a blazer um, in the colder months. So yeah, it's a really, really lovely shape. As you can see that like square neckline and then it has this detail underneath here underneath the bust which I think is just going to look really really nice on and then it goes down into a bodysuit. It's a thong bodysuit as well which for me is a personal favourite because um, I don't really like when you can see the bodysuit through your trousers or anything like that. They did this in loads of different colours as well. Um, so yeah I got it in the grey but I'm pretty sure they did like a beige and they might have done a black as well but I will link this down below and I went for a size medium. 
Next up, this is something that I've been thinking about getting for quite a long time now because I really, really love bomber jackets and I know that a lot of people have been wearing them for the last couple of years um, and I just haven't taken the plunge because I just haven't really seen one that I really, really liked. And then I came across this one on Abercrombie and it's so lovely. It's that perfect shade of grey that I was looking for. So it's this oversized bomber jacket. I've got this in a size large and it's such good quality. Like I can't get over the quality of this. It's really, really nice and thick. I love like the structure on it, but also it has got that like, kind of slouchiness with the drop shoulders. Let me try it on for you. Panning you over here so you can see the bomber. I love this. I think it's so, so nice. So this is the bomber on. This is so, so lovely. It's a great layering piece. So you can pop like really chunky jumpers underneath or hoodies or something like that. I'm pretty sure they also did this in cream as well. Um, it's a really nice length. I just think it's a great piece to chuck on. But the beauty of this is it actually kind of looks kind of smart. So even if you are just wearing an outfit like I have on today, like leggings and a jumper, popping this on will actually make you feel just a little bit more put together. So yeah, very, very happy with this. I think it's really, really nice. You know what? I just thought I may as well just keep the camera here so I can show you um, some of these pieces like in full length. So next up, I've been looking for a grey blazer. And I saw this one on Abercrombie and I thought I would give it a go. So I wanted something quite lightweight to layer under coats and things like that. Um, and yeah, this is quite lightweight. It has shoulder pads, so you're still gonna have that nice structure to it. I picked this up in a size large. So let's try it on and see. Okay, so this is the blazer. This is literally what I was looking for. It's a perfect length, so it covers your bum, which is ideal if you are wearing it with leggings. But I also think this could be worn like, really smartly as like office wear or something like that. Talking of office wear, actually, if you have never tried the Sloan Taylor trousers from Abercrombie, I don't have them here because I already own them. Um, I'll try and pop in a picture or something if I can find one. Um, but if you've never tried the Sloan Taylor trousers from Abercrombie, you have to try them. I was on the lookout for some really, really nice wide leg trousers. Hang on, do you know what? I'll just go get them. Bear with me. <laughs> Please excuse the fact that I need to give them a bit of a lint roll because they've just been next to a white fluffy jumper. So <laughs> sorry about that. But um, yeah, these are the trousers here. I was looking for a really, really nice pair of black wide leg trousers because I think black wide leg trousers are really, really chic, but also very, very easy to wear and very comfy. And these are the best ones. I can't believe I haven't tried them before. They do them in so many different colors as well, um, but they're just great. And they come in those lengths too. They come in like tall, regular, short. So yeah, they're really, really great. And I was chatting to my friend about them and she says she just wears them for work nonstop, like all the time, but she also wears them like casually as well. And they look great with like a pair of Converse um, and a trench coat or something like that. You just can't go wrong. And these are so, so comfy. Like I said, if you are up and down on like getting off the floor with a baby, things like that, these are really, really comfy and they look really nice too. So yeah, I would definitely recommend them. Sorry, I got a bit distracted then. But yeah, um, that's the Sloan Taylor trousers. I'll link them below as well. I'm not sure if they're included in the sale, but I'll link them below anyway and you can check them out. Um, but yeah, very, very happy with this blazer. I think it's kind of a perfect grey blazer. Coming a little bit closer so you can see the detail. Just got like a single breasted button there. So yeah, love that. Okay, so next up. I've probably also do basics very, very, very well. And this is one of their basic kind of like layering pieces. So it's this ribbed roll neck top, which I just love. Again, they had it in lots of different colors. It's nice and thick, so you're not gonna see your bra underneath it. And I love these for wearing underneath blazers, underneath like jackets, like that bomber jacket, tucked into like leather trousers or even the Sloan wide leg trousers I was talking about, pair of jeans, you know, can't beat it, easy. So yeah, that's that one. And I picked that one up in a size small. It's super stretchy. Okay, next up, jeans. So these are actually a new style for me. These are the F loose high rise style. So as I said, I'm hoping that these are gonna fit, but because they're a new style, I'm not 100% sure on my sizing in them. Um, but yeah, I got these in a 31. Uh, waist so yeah they're just a nice wide leg high waist high waist is essential for me especially since having a baby I can't be doing any of that low rise stuff <laughs> high rise is such an essential and um, they're a wide leg just a great one for popping on with like a white tee a grey jumper a trench coat a camel coat something like that and a pair of trousers like my uh, trousers a pair of trainers like my adidas sambas 
something like that, that kind of vibe. It's a really nice kind of like classic, slightly washed, vintagey feel denim as well. Um, and yeah, no branding particularly, which I like. I like to keep things quite simple. So yeah, that's those jeans. And then I also picked up another pair. And these are the 90s Relax. So they have so many different styles on Abercrombie. Um, my favourite ones that I wear all the time are their straight leg ones, but I just wanted to try out a, a few like different um, fits basically, because I'm a bit of a jean lover and um, yeah, building back up my jean wardrobe has actually been quite fun <laughs> because I get to try out all these different styles. So yeah, again, I got them in a waist 31 and they're pretty similar actually. They're quite a lot longer though, I will say, and these have a raw hem at the bottom. I do love raw hem. Um, so yeah, that's those ones. And if these fit, I will be doing a try on for you. Or if not, I will pop a picture of what the model looks like in them, just in case they don't fit me right. I might need to change sizes. Um, but yeah, that's just that's how it is with pretty much everything I order online at the minute. I'm just so unsure of my sizing because it does change and like, fluctuate quite a lot. So yeah. Okay, and then last up, I picked up the famous Abercrombie leather trousers, faux leather trousers. Um, if you guys are a long time follower, you will know how much I absolutely rave about the black faux leather trousers like these, and I wear them all the time, but I decided to pick up a brown pair just to switch it up a little bit. I just thought they would be quite cool with like, quite like, I don't know, autumnal, tonal outfits with camels, with browns, like brown I feel like is such a colour of the season, like red is a big colour but so is brown, and yeah, I just thought they were really, really nice. I picked these up in a 30 because they have a lot of stretch to them, which is another reason that makes them so comfortable. And also I love that the inside kind of feels like, it's not like fleecy lined, but it's really soft, um, which is just nice for these kind of trousers that like you don't want them to be stiff or anything like that. They're a straight leg, um, so I just think they look so nice for trainers, but also will work really well with like a pair of heels and stuff as well. I often wear mine, um, well, when I used to go out, <laughs> I would wear them with heels. Um, so yeah, they are the last item that I picked up from Abercrombie, so some really, really nice bits there. Uh, don't forget to head onto their website and use my discount code AFRUBY and that'll get you an extra 15% off their already 25% off discount sale. So if you do wanna check them out, I definitely recommend jumping on their website and having a look. Um, it's also a great time to pick up some presents as well. Like they do some really nice loungewear and pajamas, um, but they also do like really good menswear too. I've actually bought Sam quite a few hoodies, from there, some t-shirts I've bought. He also has a really, really nice pair of like brown, look at him getting in the color of the season, um, brown jeans from there as well. So yes, I will link it all down below and don't forget to use my discount code. Okay, now I really need to get ready for this event. I'm actually <laughs> running a little bit late, which is story of my life at the moment. Once I'm there, or probably afterwards, I'm gonna sit down and have a big long catch up with you guys because I just feel like there's a lot that I wanna chat about um, and a lot of, yeah, catch up things that I wanna, um, say and okay i'm just waffling on now and i'm late so catch you in a bit just having a little snuggle with my girl before i leave i'm gonna miss you darling yeah i am i am you want to say hello let me say hello so i just thought i would show you my outfit quickly i was gonna wear the abercrombie gray blazer but i decided i'm not gonna wear a coat just because when I'm in the shops and stuff, I'll get quite hot and that blazer probably needs a coat with it because it's a little bit thinner. Um, but yeah, this is just from H&M. It's more of like a coat, I'd say, kind of a coat blazer. I have this jumper from Arquette. Leggings are Lululemon. Boots are Zara. Bag is YSL. Um, it feels very, very weird not taking a baby bag out with me. I think this is like the first time that I've gone out in ages and not had to think about nappies, um, bottles, this, that and the other. So yeah, I'm really excited though. So let's go. Trying to find parking in Manchester is impossible. The place where I normally park has got loads of parking suspensions, so I don't actually know where I'm gonna park, to be honest. I'm just kind of driving around at the minute, hoping that I'm gonna, oh, is that space? That looks like space. I'm gonna go for it. Oh my God, it's a space. It's a space, yes! Okay, now I just have to parallel park. Ugh. 
honestly, where would we be in life without parking sensors? I actually don't know. <laughs> I would never be able to park without them. Okay, we are here. Just lock my doors a second while I sit and chat because you know, you just never know. Um, God, Manchester's got so many um, like building works going on at the minute. I was literally behind like a huge like JCB truck this whole way um, and it was super slow. So luckily I actually did leave a bit more time than I thought I had. I actually thought the event started at 12 and it starts at 12.30. So that is my life hack is just telling yourself that things start earlier than they actually do and then you will always be on time. So yes, I've actually got a good 15 minutes now before the event starts. So I thought I would just sit and chat to you, have a little catch up. I'm actually quite nervous about this event because ever since having a baby, <laughs> I really like find it difficult to, I don't know if anyone else has had this, please tell me if you have. Let me just turn the car off. Um, yeah, ever since having a baby, I find it really, really difficult to, is it, is it better to sit you guys down here? Can you see me better there? No, actually, I think that was better, sorry. Um, yeah, I find it very difficult to like, s not socialize necessarily, but I just feel like my brain, like whether it's because I'm so tired or whether it's because I just have like a hundred million things going on in my brain and I'm trying to remember so many things and like, it's just working in overdrive or whether it's just that like, I know like baby brains are a thing and stuff, but I feel like I've lost the ability to like have a conversation sometimes. And I used to, without like blowing my own horn, <laughs> trumpet, whatever it is, I used to like be quite good at like making conversation and um, being in like new social settings and like I never found that difficult. But <clears throat> sometimes, <clears throat> blame me, sorry. Um, sometimes, yeah, I just kind of struggle with like, yeah, making conversation and kind of knowing what to say. Um, like, I just, it doesn't seem to come as like quick to me anymore. I don't know, it's really weird. And I'd love to know if anyone else has like felt that since having a baby because I don't know, I just, I, f I find it a lot harder to like socialize and stuff nowadays. Um, and then let alone being in like a whole new environment with like all new people. And I've been like out of the whole like events kind of situation for quite a long time like I haven't been to events in ages in Manchester I don't really know many of the um bloggers and stuff in Manchester anymore um especially because a lot of them are like tiktokers and stuff which like I don't really do so yeah it will probably be full of all new people that I don't know so I don't know I'm just getting myself a little bit nervous it's also probably the fact that I've just not been to an event in ages and yeah I feel like I don't really have <laughs> it's probably because I don't have a lot of like adult conversation these days and I'm normally just like talking to my three month old um so that's probably doesn't help the situation but yeah anyway I'm sure it'd be fine it's, it's one of those things that is always like feels worse than it actually is and then you get in there and you're like what was I even worrying about so I'm sure it'd be absolutely fine and yeah I'm really really like it's nice to be out of the house with like a purpose does that make sense like that's something I think obviously since being a mum like I suppose I obviously I do have a purpose in the sense of like looking after my baby and everything like that but having a purpose that like isn't to do with Goldie um is something that I haven't really had in a long time so to be out the house to go to like a work event that has nothing to do with babies or anything like that is really really nice um and yeah I'm just looking forward to like switching off from it all for a little bit basically um because yeah that is one thing I do find since being a mum is like I just feel like my brain never ever switches off I'm like what time is her last bottle what time does she need to go for a nap is she too tired do I need to change her nappy um am I simulating her enough um like just bazillion things running through my head all at once and so yeah I'm looking forward to like kind of feeling a li little bit more like the old me um and going to this event so in terms of like I probably should start to think about making a move in a sec but in terms of like mum life updates um I'm trying to think, yeah, as I said, Goldie's three months old now. Um, she's not sleeping through the night or anything like that yet. I know some babies are at that age and some babies aren't. Last night was a particularly bad night, to be fair. She was up quite a lot, whereas we kind of got ourselves into quite a good routine where she just sort of woke up around three or four for a bottle and then would go back to sleep until about half seven, eight. Um, but yeah, she woke up quite a few times last night and then she was like ready to start her day at 5 a.m. So that was great. But yeah, so feeling pretty tired, to be fair, but just very, very grateful that my mum is here so that she um can look after her today and actually sam's off work today as well so they're both of them are like tag teaming which is nice wow 
what else have I got to update you on? I'm trying to think. <laughs> I feel like this is probably why I don't vlog because like my days just look the exact same every day. Like we get up, we have a bottle, we have a little bit of playtime, she goes for a nap and then she'll get up, she'll have another bottle, change nappies. <laughs> Sometimes I'll go out and about like for a little walk just to try and get her to sleep. I didn't realise how much my entire <laughs> life <laughs> would be... Um, or would revolve around her and sleeping like her nap times her nighttime sleep making sure her naps are long enough making sure she's like i don't know being able to like settle herself like it's just it's a minefield it's a minefield and it's definitely not something that i thought like would really really i don't know take up so much of my like mental capacity if that makes sense um i saw a like a meme on instagram the other day meme do we still are we still calling them memes they said welcome to parenthood you're about to spend an irrational amount of time convincing a sleepy person to go to sleep <laughs> and that definitely at the minute sums up parenthood for me but yeah anyway that's enough about that that's just my little update goldie had her jabs yesterday so i think that's maybe why we had a bit of a bad night last night um just because she's probably feeling a little bit like not very like well in herself and stuff right i'm gonna get going because i need to pay for my parking and then I need to head on down to 20 stories, which is where the event is, which I have not been to 20 stories in a very long time. We are so blessed in Manchester. Goodness me, you actually can't shut me up at the minute. Um, we're so blessed in Manchester with so many great restaurants and like Sexy Fish has just opened here. There are just like an abundance of great restaurants in Manchester. So yeah, I haven't been to 20 stories in a really long time. I think I last went about five, six years ago, maybe. Also, I want to let you know while I remember, my christmas gift guides are live let me show you let me show you i've been working on these for a really long time they take forever but i absolutely love doing them um and this one i'd say it's my biggest and best yet um i've kind of built on the one that i did last year but added like loads of new things so basically you need to go on my blog which is www.rubyholly.com this is my blog here don't know how you can see that click on the little icon there and then select gift guides and then You'll have my gift guide. So we have one for men and we have one for women. Jump in there. So this is the gift guide and you can scroll through and, oh, it's not loading at the minute. <laughs> but there are so many things on there. We have under 20 pound, under 50 pounds, under 100 pounds, and then 100 pound and over. And honestly, I think there's like, I reckon at least like 500 um, things on there. And you can literally click on one and it'll take you straight to the website and you can buy it. I really recommend checking it out if you are looking for any Christmas gifts um, because again, not to blow my own trumpet, I think that's the saying, but um, I get quite a lot of positive feedback on my gift guides. So yeah, if you need any gifting help, check them out. Right, let's go. God, I pulled this chair so far forward, I can't actually get out of the car, hang on. There we go. Okay. Let's go. It's been a long time since I've vlogged in public as well, and I only have two bars left on my battery. And I swear I just put this battery in. Oh god. <laughs> if you have never been to Manchester before and you don't really know it, I thought I'd just show you. This is a road called Deansgate, which is kind of like one of the main streets in Manchester that like everything kind of runs off, if that makes sense. Um, this street up here, I think it's called Peter Street is um kind of where we normally go for like a night out albert schloss is up there which is always really really fun good like dancey vibes um so yeah and then the event that i'm heading into is in spinning fields which is like where a lot of the restaurants and stuff are um like the ivy's there and things like that so that's it you just off just off dean's gate as well here we go Look at this view of the city from here. It's insane. That was the road I was driving around trying to find a parking space. <laughs> How cool is that? The entrance to the restaurant looking so festive. Oh my god, this is amazing. It's very hot in here, but it's nice to make it. Oh no, I like the heat. Oh my god, this is festive. I've literally just got back from the event. I think I did get a little bit of footage um, 
that I'll pop in but it was so lovely it was like a really intimate event which was nice for like the whole um, anxiety I was feeling and I did actually know quite a few people there so that was really lovely and it was to celebrate the launch of their new ginger biscuit um, fragrance which literally smells like Christmas in a bottle it's really really lovely it's kind of sweet but it's not like overpoweringly sweet it's just so nice um, I mean, Jo Malone always do such gorgeous scents. So yeah, it was so, so nice. And now I'm going to just run into town and just have a little wander around just whilst I'm in, in town really. Um, and obviously I have some childcare. So I can have a little mooch around, see what's in the shops. One of the girls that works for Jo Malone at the event there had this gorgeous suit on from Cos and it just looks so, so nice. So I might pop into Cos, but then I'm also like, realistically, do I ever really go anywhere that would require me to wear a suit? Not really, but I don't know. Might go look at it anyway, because it was so nice. It was like a kind of a pinstripe suit. Really lovely. The Christmas markets are on in Manchester and it's feeling very, very festive. Sorry, I feel like I need to get these little mittens for Goldie. How cute are they? Oh my goodness. Oh, they are so cute. Oh my God, I can't. Wow, this top in And Other Stories is insane. How beautiful is that? Wow, I love that. Right, I'm heading into Cos to see if this suit is in there. <laughs> I feel like I'm spending so much of this vlog in the car, but I actually forgot my camera. I left it in the car when I went out to the shop, so that was a little bit annoying, but I did film some stuff on my phone. Um, went into cars looking for that suit. Um, I didn't find it. I think I found the trousers, but I didn't find the matching. This jumper's so fluffy. Keep getting stuck to me. I didn't find the matching blazer. To be honest, like I said, I don't really go anywhere that would require a suit anyway, but it was really cool. I'll link it down below <laughs> for those of you that want to know what I'm talking about. But oh my goodness, it was so busy in town. Like, so busy. Oh, I've just paid for parking and now I'm like, where have I just put that ticket? <laughs> Where's it gone? Yeah, it was so busy in town. I don't know whether it's because it's Black Friday or like Christmas. Obviously there's like Christmas markets on and stuff. So it's just a little bit manic, so I've left kind of quicker than I anticipated, but um, yeah, so I didn't get anything. But it was nice to have a little mooch around on my own. I feel a bit like lost being on my own now. It's really strange, like I don't know. I feel, yeah, just weird without Goldie. I guess because she's literally by my side all the time. So yeah, it does feel a bit weird when I do things without her. But yeah, it's been nice to have a little wander around and now I'm going to head home and um, go and see her and yeah so i'll catch you guys when i get back well a nice sort of entertainer on the floor and everything until about 10 to 3 and then i'll put her in the pram yeah took her out and she was asleep within about 10 minutes that. um so what time did she wake up and then she from, woke up at four what time did she wake up from that middle of the day nap four no before the one before that uh, 1.30. And she went down at 11? 11. No, she went down at 12. Right, okay. <laughs> so she's, she's doing pretty well, but they've always been in 45 minutes. Fix. Yeah. Hi, So she last woke at 4? I think yeah. that's right though. I think we could. I think we bring bedtime earlier. We can't bring bedtime earlier. Why? But that just means bedtime's our bedtime's already very early, early, isn't it? But then that means so bedtime's if she wakes up, instead of we wake up at eleven, we wake up at ten. That means then we go to bed at eleven instead of twelve. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So one last thing that I wanted to. Please ignore my ski socks, by the way. <laughs> um, one last thing that I want to do before my mum leaves is sort out my jeans here because basically all of these jeans here 
don't fit me. They're all like pre-pregnancy jeans. Um, I think I do have a couple pairs of maternity jeans in here. But yeah, they're all pre-pregnancy jeans. None of them fit me. I open up this wardrobe all the time and look and I think I can't wear any of these. And then the jeans that do actually fit me are literally just like hanging on a rail over here. And it's just all a bit of a mess. Um, and so yeah, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just take them all out, pop them all in a bag, pop them up in the loft. And then maybe one day when I feel more back to my like pre pregnancy size, if that does ever happen, who knows, um, I'll get them out again and try them all on and stuff. But there's just no point of being in here now, like I said, when they just don't fit. And yeah, I just think it's gonna be easier if I sort them out. So that's what I'm going to do now. Um, and then it will be time for Goldie's bedtime. Um, she really fought bedtime last night, so we will see what happens tonight. Fingers crossed it goes okay. But let's just get all of these jeans out and pop them away. I just use the um, clear IKEA bags uh, to store um, things away. So now it is totally empty and I'm going to pop in the um, jeans that I do have, which is a lot less. <laughs> And that is pretty much it. <laughs> I have the Abercrombie ones um, that I tried on earlier to put in, but yeah, that is it but I'm definitely gonna feel so much better when I'm getting ready now. So guys, I think I'm gonna finish this vlog here because I'm gonna pop Goldie down to bed in a minute and then I need to edit and everything like that. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry I've left it so long. I'm gonna really try and vlog more. It's just difficult to know what to vlog, but yeah, I'm definitely gonna try, especially in the run up to Christmas because hopefully there'll be some nice like festive things to vlog and stuff like that. So yes, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget my Abercrombie discount code, AFRuby, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.